Hey, hey Carl, nice to have you. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, doing good. Hey, how are you? I'm so pumped to watch Ghostbusters. Thanks for having me over. Hey, dude, we're only watching the first Ghostbusters, not doing this Ghostbusters universe shit. Don't badmouth Ghostbusters without me being there. What? Alright guys, I haven't seen this yet, and I don't want any spoilers, but I've heard the Tree of Life is amazing. It's about a man looking back on his childhood life as he questions how his understanding of the creation of life was influenced on his upbringing. This movie, while albeit ambitious, attempts to captivate the viewer into questioning its own existence and apparently... Jesus Christ, Connor. That's just boring. No one wants to watch that. We have to watch a real action and a real classic as well. We have to watch Pulp Fiction. Now, why would we watch Pulp Fiction when we can watch The Tree of Life instead? Number one, The Tree of Life is boring. And number two, it has the greatest monologue by a black man in cinema history ever. Yeah, right. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, we've all seen that a million times. We need something nostalgic. Something we can all watch and enjoy. Don't say Ghostbusters again. Alright, alright. But what about the Goodfellas? That's funny. What do you mean, it's funny? It's funny, you know? It's a good story. It's funny. Funny how? Like, what's funny about it? Just, you know, it's funny. Let me understand this, because maybe it's me, you know? I'm a little fucked up, maybe, but it's funny how? Like, funny like a circus? Does it amuse you? Ah, you motherfucker. I almost had him. I almost had him. Almost had him. Oh. I guess we're not watching Goodfellas then. Why do we watch The Terminator? I'll just go see if I can find it. I'll be back. Right, I don't have Terminator, but I do have these that we could watch. There are still faint glimmers of civilization left in this barbaric slaughterhouse that was once known as humanity. Indeed, that's what we provide in our own modest, humble, insignificant. Ah, fuck it. Hey guys, what about Boyhood? Hey, this is good. Stop that. I spent three hours watching a guy grow up for 12 years, and I spent the whole time yelling at Patricia Arquette to be with Ethan Hawkes, because he's clearly a better father. Well, here, let me list off a couple. There will be Blood, No Country Old Men, Seven, Shinzer's List, The Pianist, Braveheart. Jesus, Eamon, you okay? Oh, those are like three hours long, and there's some fucked up shit in them. Okay, well, I don't want to be depressed like Eamon, so I think we should watch a happy movie. And as I always suggest, it should be The Notebook. I know, Connor, you gotta be kidding me, you're a romantic comedy. Hey Connor, why don't we go outside and recreate the movie by kissing in the rain? Shut up, it's one of my favorites. Have you ever seen Citizen Kane? That's a true masterpiece. Wait, what did you say? I said, do you want a rose? But Nah, I'm thinking we need something up beef. I'm thinking the Wolf of Wall Street. My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was pretty shy of a million a week. Whoa, dude, that's way too Hollywood. Let's watch a foreign film such as Ida by Paul Lukowski. It's the first film that shows cinematography can play an important character and an important role in the film. I understand what you're saying about cinematography. Emmanuel Lubezki's Birdman does a great job of showing progression of time through the camera. Birdman's cinematography is seamless. That brings everything together. Well, since Aiden gave such a glowing analysis, I don't think we need to watch it. What about gravity? You're just in love with this Emmanuel Lubezki guy, aren't you? What about Apollo 13? If we're watching a space movie, we're watching gravity. Well, what about Castaway? Nah, I didn't really like Tom Hanks in that one. Oh, come on. Really? What did you like him in there? Big. He just plays a child in that one. Well, what about Big Daddy? The one with Adam Sandler? He's not too bad. You have got to be kidding me. Not all Adam Sandler's movies are bad. He was good in Punch Truck Love. I'll give you that, but he was utter shit and everything else. Guys, if we can't decide a movie, can we just watch a TV series? Alright, well I've got Mad Men taped at home, and none of you can decide, I'm just gonna go home and watch that. Clearly not a true film fan. Fine. Bye bye. Oh, I'm so sick of this. 
Look, we'll just have an ultimatum, okay? The Dark Knight, the Avengers, or the Godfather.